afternoon. Fun. How was your night? It's better than before. Okay. Um, so we received some information. Just because the arms for the train crossing haven't functioned in seven days, the battery, um, I believe from the shack, is depleting. So there is a potential risk for the arms to come down and the signals to be audible. So we just wanted you to be aware of that, mm -hmm. that there, there will be no train coming. There's still a stop mm -hmm. on the trains, but that could happen. We just don't want it to become an issue of somebody standing underneath them or anything like that. Yeah, to yeah. get hurt. Yeah. yeah. So we understand. Um, in order to repair it, a uh, signal maintainer has to come down and do whatever at the at the the, the, the box. box thank yeah. you yeah. um so and i'm and we don't know like how long that would take or anything like that but um definitely we want to continue to message these things to you so you're aware for your safety um that that that's there so we want to make sure that everybody's safe um so if we get information about when that might happen or how it looks we certainly come back and relay yeah, that information to you yeah. for sure yeah right so just please and they said it could happen anytime between noon and midnight yeah. So just be cognizant of that. Time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so just I, we, we want to make sure that nobody is going to get uh, hurt or worry that there is a train coming through because there is no train coming through. No. Yeah. Okay. Are you still enforcing the injunction? The OPP has decided it will enforce it. How that looks, I don't know. Um, there are lots of other options, right? We're still looking and hoping for a peaceful resolution, and that's why we want to continue to have that dialogue with you. So, yeah. um, and any we see that we appreciate it yeah. um, about the arms and stuff. Yeah. It's about yeah. safety and yeah. also yeah. ours. Yes, for, um, for sure. Girls, yesterday, you said you wouldn't come here with them weapons. No, I think we just didn't come here during the ceremony no, no, no. with the weapons. No, no, no. I asked you, I said, we're not here with any weapons. If you come in the future, they don't come with any weapons. Let's be peaceful with one another. And you agreed to that. You said so. There's a million cameras. And then yesterday, you came with them. And then you did it again. And it's threatening. And there's no I need for that. Don't bring so... Uh, ask again, please. I know you want to relay messages, um, but there's no need to, um, you're not in any threat. And so, there's no need to be threatening to us. And so I appreciate again, uh, uh, if we do so. Um, yeah, that's... Thank you. And so if, if we have a determination of when that might happen or if somebody needs to come down to fix it, because I don't know that it stops once it starts, I don't know, but we'll certainly let you know. I didn't hear what you said. Oh, something. the battery is depleted in the arms, so the arms will come down once it's depleted and the lights will go, so we just didn't want anyone to be around them when that happens. Who's going to come with them? Pardon me? Who's going to come with the technician? I'm, I don't know. We can certainly discuss that if you have a position on that. If you would like Wendy and I to come down while he's here. Um, well, I'm assuming that you're going to make a fuss about it. That you need to have uh, some sort of protection for the technician because I see uh, they're carrying uh, weapons. So we should have a discussion about that at that time then, maybe. Okay, when he's ready, when he needs to come well, down? He said or? from 12 till midnight. Yeah. So when that's... Uh, Time for that conversation, and we can have that conversation then, right? Okay, fair enough. Because it's not fair to put a people uh, in a in a hyper stress state for 12 hours. It, it, it would seem to be like um, uh, the creation of uh, further stress. So it'd be nice to know the exact time and and plan it and have somebody available, and so we can do it in a in a gentle manner. Uh, it feels like um, we've uh, made you offer to have a peaceful resolution and remind uh, what's our treaty and, and what's our relationship about dispute resolution and um, um, we're waiting. Thank you. Have you and guys agreed to change? I'm sorry, pardon me? Did you, have you guys discussed polishing the chain as per the discussion yesterday? We've relayed the information back to our incident commander who would be Inspector Simple. He's aware of the, uh, the information that was talked about yesterday in the teaching. I'm sorry. If we are in peaceful talking, this is why the weapons are not needed. 
you know, it's we're, it, we're in peaceful talk. We're trying to come to peaceful resolution, and your weapons is not showing that. You are the liaison officers. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're relating our message back and forth. You have a very important job. Your weapons are a threat to us, it's, you know, while we're in peaceful talks. Um, again, you know, we'll discuss about the technician. We understand. Thank you very much when for... When we have more information, we'll bring it down to you. Thank you. Okay, thank okay. you.